guys. Dylan Schumacher. Daniel Richardson. Citadel Defense. So today we're going to continue our open carry series here and we're going to talk about dealing with people uh, in, in public when you're open carrying. So the way Daniel and I see it, <clears throat> and from our experience, there's kind of four different categories that falls into. Uh, the first one is what we would call just general interaction, right? So Daniel, when you're mm -hmm. out and you're open and carrying, how do you generally interact with people? Like, what's your demeanor? How do you carry yourself? How do you deal with that? I would say the same as I always interact with people, only I have an added amount of politeness because I know I'm representing a whole group of people. Um, and I, every interaction counts, you guys. Any negative thing you do is going to be held against this whole segment of people. Yep. So it's just really important that you're really polite, um, you're really patient, you're really understanding of people. I wear a lot of smiles that I don't normally do. Um, and uh, and just try to chat with people more than I normally would either. Yep. And and to be honest, man, most people probably don't even realize. I mean, uh, when I had the uh, Serpa holster, I don't think anyone hardly ever noticed that I was open carrying. Since I switched to the Safari Land, it's way bigger. It's kind of a hand cannon. People definitely notice. But again, polite interactions, just like normal. The other day, I was getting my wife some dinner. Uh, I was at a sandwich shop. And uh, everybody noticed, and I just carried polite, normal conversations with everybody. Nobody said a word, and I left. Yep, yep. So I, I think if you're going to do that, you know, again, go back, watch part one, talk about why we, we'd even bother open carrying. Uh, but if you're going to open carry, go that extra mile to be polite. Because, yeah. like Daniel says, you are representative of all gun owners now. Um, and, and we want to continue to encourage that as a positive image and not a negative one. So if you're not a normally chatty or, or, or nice person, that's fine. Just go that extra mile to be polite. But please, like, if, if you if you are very introverted and quiet and, and socially awkward, um, then just be aware of that. And, <laughs> and please just try to try to not come across as creepy. Yeah, just just be polite, guys. Just go that extra mile to be polite. You'll be fine. Yeah. We trust you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Do there. We? Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. So there are, there are three kind of big reactions I think you can get, right? So the first one is a positive reaction, mm -hmm. right, Daniel? Now, I know you've had those. So how do you deal with, with a positive reaction? Someone comes up in a positive reaction. This this is 99% of all interactions I get, and it actually happens way more frequent, frequently than you'd think. Um, like the time we were out having dinner at Culver's, and oh, yep. some guy came up and just said, hey, man, that's super cool. I'm, I'm really happy that you're doing that. I love guns and I'm proud that you're representing us. And then I just kind of shook his hand and he walked away. Another time I was walking around, guy just comes and gives me a handshake and opens his coat and shows me his gun and says, there's a lot more of us out there than you think. Shook his hand, you know, uh, give people business cards. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. You know, I get a lot of handshakes sometimes, um, depending yep. on where I'm at. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, just be polite, interact cool. with people positively. So the second one I think is a negative reaction, right? Um, so how, how, I know you've had at least one of those, and how do you deal with like negative reactions? Um, De-escalation skills are really important, I think to just have in the forefront of your mind. Uh, I've never gotten into an argument over it before, but if that did happen, you've gotta be prepared to de-escalate the situation. Um, again, you're carrying a firearm, it's used to kill people. Um, every situation you encounter could, poten could potentially end in lethal force don't want that to happen especially if the other person is being a jackass and belligerent just don't let it ever get there so uh keep those de-escalation skills in the forefront of your mind but again I, water on a duck's back man you just have to deal with any negative criticism you get i had a guy come up to me i was with my wife and a bunch of her friends and we were eating dinner at her favorite restaurant and some guy comes up and just says nobody likes you being here um and i just responded with okay and he walked away and you know what it, it did kind of make me a little irritated um, it, it made my wife and her friends very uncomfortable, um, but uh, there's nothing you can really do about it. If he if he's gonna be a mean person, then he's gonna be a mean person, and don't let it bother you. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. So I think guys, yeah, there's just just you just gotta shrug it off, and there's the okay, thanks, man, I, I appreciate that. Don't don't have a clever it. comment. I mean, after yeah. the fact, you'll probably think of 50 clever comments you, sh you should you could have said, but you shouldn't have. Don't no. don't ever come back with. A a clever comment. Yeah, you, you don't. You're not just there to get an argument. You don't need to get let in a fight. Go. Yeah, just you always have to be the bigger person when you're carrying a gun. That doesn't change when you're open carrying, right? You no. still have to be the bigger person. And don't think, oh, well, I'll just conceal so I can be a prick. That, that's not what we're saying. We're saying you just always have to be polite, and especially when you open carry. I so, mean, I mean, all these uh, attributes that we're talking about should apply to concealed carriers yep, as well. Yep. But if you're open carrying, I would say you absolutely have to be especially aware of that. 
Yep. So if you're going to get the negative reaction, guys, or first of all, your fearfulness of the negative reaction is probably a lot higher than reality. Mm -hmm. um, so just know that there, there's a pretty big disparity there. Most of the time, open carrying is a non-event. Yeah. Uh, and if you do get that negative reaction, just be okay to say, hey, man, uh, uh, thanks, I, I appreciate that, or okay, and that's it. And then just keep walking or go on about your business or go back to what you're doing. Yeah. You don't need to engage that guy. You it, don't need to deal with it. It's that. important to remember, too, that... Um, a lot of the people who see your gun and don't like it are going to be too afraid to say something to you. So it, it, it's, it, it only makes sense that the people who are pro-gun are going to come shake your hand and say that's cool, like I'm glad you're doing that, and the people who aren't aren't going to say anything and are probably just going to get out of the way. Um, and that's, that's again, why you got to be polite to everybody all the time, yeah. because you don't know how many of those people are just keeping their mouths shut and then they're going to go complain about it later. So the last one, I think, is a shocked reaction, right? It's, oh my God, that guy's got a gun. And they're not like angry or upset or, or excited. They're just surprised, yeah. right? So how, how do you deal with the, the shocked reaction? You know, I've never had this happen to me. I think uh, I think most people should be rational enough to realize that if you're open carrying, uh, you don't have anything to hide. You're not coming in to shoot the place up. Um, you're just protecting yourself. But I would say don't react. Um, don't give them anything to panic over. Don't put your hand on your gun. Oh, don't Absolutely do that don't ever. Do that. Um, and uh, I wouldn't even freak out and like raise your hands. There's no reason to do that because you're perfectly legally exercising your right. You're safe. You're polite. Uh, I would just, I would just slowly, calmly, kind of think about it for a minute and see if maybe just kind of the situation resolves itself when they realize that you're not a threat. Yeah, and I think too you can just say, hey man, and just keep walking. You know, mm -hmm. you can just acknowledge them, be polite, say hi. Say how you doing, and just keep on walking again. Go about your day. And, and again, I just don't think this is gonna happen. No, it, it's so minuscule, guys. It's so minuscule. Like you said, 99% of the reactions are positive. That's all I got. That's all I got too. Comment below. Thanks, guys. Do brave deeds and endure.